The headlines that are making the news this week, your Ranch It Up Heard It Here weekly recap will be back right after this. Get ready for the Western experience of a lifetime. The world-famous Mile City Bucking Horse Sale is back and better than ever. Join us May 16th through the 19th in Mile City, Montana. From the finest bucking stock to electrifying horse racing, this event has it all. Don't miss out on the kickoff concert featuring Josh Turner and special guest Chancey Williams. Mark your calendars and saddle up for the world-famous Mile City Bucking Horse Sale where the spirit of the West comes alive. Get your tickets at BuckingHorseSale.com. Here's the news headlines wrapping up this week. Cattle losses from the historic Texas Panhandle wildfire are mounting as ranchers and ag authorities assess the damage. The count is at 7,000 head and it's rising as the cleanup from the Lone Star State's largest ever wildfire continues. The Texas Ag Department expects to add thousands more to that tally. While that's a small fraction of Texas's nation-leading 11 million head herd, the local effects are devastating. The losses in Oklahoma are obviously fewer than Texas, but a multitude of donation centers have been set up just over the border in Oklahoma, including that of the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association Foundation. The link for them is in the show notes, along with other organizations rallying together that are coordinating donations like the Working Ranch Cowboys Association, the Texas Farm Bureau, and the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, head to ranchitupshow.com to find direct links. Our friends to the north are investing in animal disease prevention. The Canadian government announced an investment of $1.7 million to Animal Health Canada to support its role in preventing foreign animal diseases such as African swine fever and foot and mouth disease. The announcement comes as African swine flu continues to spread to new lands. Albania, for example, reported its first case last week, making it the 28th European country to confirm African swine flu since it was first found on the continent back in 2007. In our final news story for this week, despite some improvements, beef packer margins continue to struggle this year. According to the latest Sterling Beef Profit Tracker, packer margins for the week ending March 2nd were a negative $105.69 ahead versus a profit of $8.17 ahead. Annual projections have feedlot margins at $132.75 profit for this year. That's down from $264 in 2003. Packer margins, meanwhile, are currently estimated at a loss of $36 this year versus a flat $0.22 cents profit in 2023. And again, that is according to the Sterling Beef Profit Tracker. And that is your Ranch It Up Heard It Here weekly recap.